Do I look Christmassy enough? everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so I'm dressed all in my Christmas attire I've got a Christmas jumper on it does flash as well um, but yes welcome to this video I've been tagged to do some Christmas question and answers so I've been tagged by the lovely Gracie and Michaela they are two other mums that I love to have a chat to on here so thank you to both of them for tagging me to do this video so Gracie and Michaela have sent me 10 Christmas based questions to answer so yes I really hope that you enjoy this video and let's get on with it. So the first question is what is my favourite Christmas movie? So my favourite Christmas film probably has to be Home Alone 1 and 2, you can forget the other ones, is it 3 and 4? I don't know if there's a fifth one. Yeah, don't ever watch those. One and two, I just love classics, we always usually watch one of those at least on Christmas Eve. And then I also really love the snowman and snow dog, the here as you can tell, we love those. And also Father Christmas, so yeah, they're probably the very favourite films that I've got. The second question is, do you have any Christmas traditions? And when I first was thinking about this, I couldn't really think of many, and then one came to me, and then another one, and another one, and I thought, actually, we do have quite a lot. Obviously, this year it is all going to be a bit different because, I mean, obviously, first of all, we've now got a baby. Obviously, last year I was still pregnant with Arthur, so there might have been a few things we would have done this year, but we can't because of lockdown. And... Secondly, the other things that we usually do, we can't do also. So yeah, it's a bit different this year, but usually we would go to the Harry Potter studio tour, which we wouldn't have done anyway this year probably because Arthur's a bit young. We always go to Longleat too, which is a animal safari park if you don't know, and they've got loads of lights and lanterns around Christmas time, so it's really, really magical. So we would have gone to that, and we probably would have taken Arthur to it, I think we just would have gone like a little bit earlier in the day sort of thing. But yeah, so we can't go to those, unfortunately. We also go to a few National Trust places that have really massive Christmas trees and lovely real fires going in these big rooms. So yeah, we can't do any of that, as it happens. But the other things that we can do, I always wear this hat on Christmas morning to unwrap the presents. Me and Matt always have our stockings in bed, so we just keep each other's stockings by our side of the bed and then in the morning we swap and open them before we get up so that's a really nice little thing that we do. Ever since we have lived together which I think I think this is the seventh Christmas that we've lived together we take it in turns to have Christmas dinner at our parents houses and then every afternoon on Christmas day which we've done or I've done since probably since I was born is go to my nan and aunties so I see my nan and my auntie obviously my parents are there my mum and stepdad and my sister and her two girls, my nieces. So yeah, that's really, really lovely. Unfortunately, this Christmas, not really any of that is happening. So it would have been my mum's turn to have us round her house, but for various reasons, we're not gonna do that. We probably will see her, but whether it'll be inside or outside, I don't know yet. And unfortunately, we're not gonna see my nan this year, or at least kind of in their house, just because she's pretty frail. She's not very well at the moment, which is a real, real, shame so yeah it's all going to be a bit different so we're actually going to have christmas dinner here for the first time anyway yeah so there's a few christmas traditions there oh matt always buys me a scratch card and i usually buy a christmas tree decoration for him every single year i haven't this year but i said in my vlog that i'm looking for a baby's first christmas decoration for arthur i still haven't bought one so yeah i really need to do that but i think that's a few of the traditions anyway also, I just want to say about our traditions, I don't think I really said, obviously we will be doing new ones with Arthur, and I don't know what, but this year we have been preparing a little Christmas kind of Eve box, slash like December box for him, and I think we'll probably carry on doing that every year. It's a bit cliche, and I always thought, oh, like it's just one of those things, but now that I've got a son, I do really want to do it, so yeah, that's going to be a tradition. Me and Arthur also have matching pyjamas, which again, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but yeah, I just thought it was quite sweet to do, and I'm sure there'll be lots more traditions, especially next year when everything is open and we can just do whatever we want to do. I'm really looking forward to kind of making new traditions as a family of three. Question number three is, what are my favourite Christmas songs? And I find this really hard to answer, actually. I really love Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas. I think that's just a classic, like, if I hear it, I just have to sing along to it. And I love all the, 
you know like the cheesy ones like Cliff Richard and Shaken Stevens, um, Wham, yeah I like all of those but I also really like just the classical ones and I used to be in a choir, it wasn't like a choral choir sort of thing, um, just like a fun choir but yeah we used to do that, I used to do concerts and we used to sing Coventry Carol which probably isn't the most like happiest of Christmas carols but yeah, I really love that one and I love all those, you know, like silver bells and yeah, I can't, I don't know what they're called, like just like the older ones, if you know what I mean. I really love those Christmas songs. Question number four is what do you do on Christmas Eve? And we really, really love Christmas Eve. In some ways I kind of, not, I did not prefer it, but you know, Christmas Day is lovely because you see loads of family, but it's just so, so busy. And as I said, like we would usually go to our parents' house and we always go to my family in the afternoon and sometimes we would do kind of like three houses in one day and it is a bit much, it's quite busy. So on Christmas Eve it's really nice just for us, usually, obviously it would just would have been us two, this year it would be us three. We'll just stay in, this year we'll probably have a little walk anyway because probably Arthur would need to get out of the house I think. But yeah, we'll stay in, we'll watch Home Alone, we'll watch some Christmas films. We usually have some sort of like either mulled cider or a non-alcoholic version. And yeah, we'll just like put our feet up, we'll have candles on and just have a really nice cosy day. So I really love Christmas Eve. Luckily, we've always kind of managed to get it off work. In Matt's line of work, his office always shuts like at lunchtime. He's in a new job this year, but luckily it's the same thing. But he's here anyway in the morning, he's working from home. So at 12 o'clock, Fingers crossed, he'll like be all finished and he can come down and we've got the rest of the day. So yeah, really looking forward to that. Question number five is stay in for Christmas dinner or go out? And 100% stay in, obviously to other people's houses as well, but in a house somewhere. We don't really go out for meals much anyway, like literally a couple of times a year, if that. So yeah, I would always want to stay in, I think, just be in our like kind of cosy home and just feel comfortable. And yeah, definitely a stay in. Number six is do you decorate early for Christmas or leave it until the last minute? We've kind of always been a bit in between. We've always kind of done around kind of beginning to mid-December, but kind of the past couple of years, we always hate taking them down. It just seems to really go so quickly. So we've been trying to put them up a bit earlier. And this year we put them up, I think it was like the 21st of November. And that is the Christmas vlog that I did. I thought I would just like document that because it was obviously Arthur's first Christmas. But yeah, we just wanted to put everything up a bit sooner, partly for Arthur, but partly just because this year we just felt we wanted something kind of nice. It does feel definitely a bit more magical when you've got quite, kind of all the lights and decorations around the house. So yeah, I think we'll probably stick with that. We'll probably be quite early. Question number seven is, is there a colour theme to your Christmas tree or decorations? And Yes, so our Christmas tree, it should be mainly gold, and it is mostly, but we do have quite a few random decorations. As I said, we, or I've bought Matt some, I think he's bought me some, and we just buy kind of odd ones, and we try to make them kind of match-ish, so we quite like traditional, so like red, gold, and green, really. But yeah, I guess there's kind of a few kind of like more random ones, but in general, it should be mainly gold, and our front room is actually gold and well, green wallpaper with like gold mirror and stuff so that kind of matches in with our room and then up here I've just got some like white tinsel with fairy lights but that's kind of all we really have elsewhere so yeah downstairs is kind of all like gold and traditional and then here is a little bit like silver or white number eight is what is your favorite festive food and I've been thinking about this one because I find this quite hard too because I just love all the food in general like there's just so much around and the stuff that you wouldn't normally buy like all these different cakes and desserts and like all these different crackers and cheese and stuff I really love the roast dinner so I'm vegetarian so I don't have like chicken or anything but I really really love roast potatoes Yorkshire puddings and stuffing I think stuffing is probably like after roast potatoes I really love it and we don't usually have it that often during the year so I really love that and yeah I love like cream I love like with having it with desserts because again I wouldn't really usually do that I'm trying to think chocolate yule log I love I don't really love Christmas pudding and all of that but yeah just kind of in general all the food that you get at Christmas question number nine is how do you dress on Christmas day so pajamas or dress up and I kind of probably because because we usually go out to Christmas dinner fairly early I'm probably usually in my pajamas until then or a Christmas jumper and the hat um 
And then like when we go out, I would say I usually wear sort of like jeans and a nice top, make like a bit of an effort, but I don't go over the top. Last year I did wear a dress, probably because I was pregnant and I just thought that was like the best thing to do, like dress up the bump a little bit and have a nice dress. So I did do that. Um, but this year, as I said, we're kind of mainly be in on Christmas day. And if we are going out to see my mum, like I don't even know if we're going in her house and if we were, it wouldn't be for long anyway. So I don't know, at the same time, I kind of feel like it is Arthur's first Christmas and it's really hard because there's so much emphasis, like it's his first Christmas sort of thing, in capital letters, do you know what I mean? So you kind of want everything to be perfect and obviously there'll be lots of photos being taken. So I don't want to look like a complete scruff. I want to look a bit nicer than I do normally in the house. So yeah, I might, I'll probably end up wearing a Christmas jumper. I definitely wouldn't wear like a dress, I don't think, but I might see at some point in the day, I might just, make a bit of an effort and wear jeans and a nice top and then the rest of the day I'll probably just have a Christmas jumper. I really need to buy a new one, this is a few years old. I think Arthur will love it, he hasn't seen it yet because it's got like the lights and a little pom-pom here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've left it a bit late really. But anyway, yeah, main, in the main I would say probably like cosy but not necessarily pyjamas. So the tenth and final question is do I like mince pies? And oh, I'm not overly keen on them. If you'd have seen my last food haul, I bought some salted caramel mince pies. So usually I do tend to have a mince pie with cream and I have to have it hot, otherwise I don't really, I mean, I can eat them, but I don't really enjoy them. If they're hot with cream, I quite enjoy them. But it's mainly just like the heat, probably of the pastry and the cream. So yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit of a I don't know for that one. As I said, I bought some new mince pies, which sound really, really nice. I'm kind of saving them because once you open the box, like they don't last for very long. So I'm probably gonna save them. Hopefully try them quite soon. But yeah, I'm like somewhere in the middle. So those are all my 10 Christmas questions. Thank you again to Gracie and Michaela for tagging me. I would like to tag some ladies too to join along. And I'm just gonna tag quite a few so that I don't wanna like miss anyone out. And just in case some people have already done it. So I would like to tag Kate, because she tagged me in the autumn tag that I did recently, and she is another mum on here, and she's really, really lovely. I like to tag Jade, she is a really lovely, lovely lady too, I always have a nice chat with her. Uh, Amy, I like to tag, she, well, all these are really nice people, Amy, Lauren, and was there, there was somebody else, oh, and I've forgotten, so I'm really, really sorry, but, oh, I think I was going to tag Lauren as well, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to tag five different people, I don't know if that's too many, but I will leave everyone's channels linked below so you can have a little look. Uh, some of them are mums, some of them are more kind of like lifestyle vloggers, but I love all of their channels and they're all such nice people I really, really love to talk to. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. Me and Arthur are actually gonna go out to the zoo. It's mostly shut because we're in tier three in Bristol and there's bird flu apparently there. So I don't really know what exactly is gonna be open. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to say goodbye. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. I've got lots more Christmas videos on my channel if you want to go and have a look. And yeah, if you're not subscribed already, then I'd really love you to come over and subscribe to my channel. If you are subscribed, then thank you so much again for joining me and for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. But yes, I hope to see you in my next one. And I can't wait to take this house because I am boiling. Anyway, bye everyone.